you. Thank you. At times like this, I, I wish I had a better act. <laughs> Welcome to our Song for Europe 1981. Feast of music and song coming to you live and thrilling from the TV theatre here in Shepherd's Bush, a diadem in the crown of Shepherd's Bush, before an invited audience who dragged in here screaming some ten minutes ago. <laughs> and before them I shall be introducing eight songs, one of which will go on to represent the United Kingdom in this year's Eurovision Song Contest to be held this year in Dublin on April the 4th. Now the eight songs you'll hear are the pick from 591, which were submitted to the Music Publishers Association. And uh, they put a great deal of work and time into selecting the eight songs from the 591. So we should thank them and also congratulate the Music Publishers Association on their centenary year. So, duty done, we now go on to the first of the eight songs. It's called Not Without Your Ticket. And it's sung by a group rejoicing in the name of Headache. There are five members of the group, two female and three male. And the song is written by two of them, Louis Jardim, is that right? From Funchal in Madeira, and Jean Gilbert from London, England. Now, Jean, uh, incidentally, has had a checkered career. She's sung with Brian Clough and uh, <laughs> is president of the alternative Nicholas Parsons Appreciation Society. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, song number one, Not Without Your Ticket. Oh, there go headache. Sounds more like an aspirin ad. Ah, 
Next one to ring the withers and tug at the old heartstrings is called All Cried Out. It will be sung by Gary Benson from London, and in fact, he also wrote the song. This is Gary's fourth entry in the Song for Europe, and Gary actually wrote this in a car park, one of those seemingly unimportant little details, which, as soon as you've said it, seems really unimportant. <laughs> Gary Benson, song number two, All Cried Out. Left me all cried out. When I met you, I wasn't sure. I held it back and I closed the door. And you were always the one who kept telling me we were right. Then you finally got to me. I opened up and gave you the key. Then you suddenly changed and I. Stand it all. Gary Benson, emotionally drained. Now, for only a day is song number three, and the music is by Chris Cunning, and the words are by John Dawson Reed. Now, uh, Chris, when he was writing this, envisaged it sung by a children's choir, and in fact, we have five very young ladies who are going to sing, and their names are Lisa, Tracy, Linda, Annabelle, and Astra. The lead singer is Sue Glover, who's in fact a mother of three and, and hails from Reading? Reading? You'd have to understand my radio show to understand that reference, so I won't bother with it. <laughs> Together, the group are called Unity, and it's song three for only a day. Can you recall when the walls that divide 
I'm going to cry. That's for only a day from Unity. Now, incidentally, I'll give you the more esoteric details of the voting when we get a little bit closer to the awful moment. But let me say that the members of each uh, regional and national jury have to vote the moment they hear the song, and there's no going back to rethink uh, a new set of votes. Now, just over my left shoulder, all is controlled chaos. Because there, the mighty scene shifters of the BBC, just clearing the set now, trained to a hair. I sometimes wonder if it all isn't just a bit too exciting. And now, song number four is Wish. The music is by Don Gould, the words are by Steve Elson. And uh, this five-man group has been brought together, they say, by a mutual dislike of the inland revenue. It's song number four, Wish. If I had the artist's gifted eye Endlessly I'd paint you for all time And your face would decorate my every wall I wish I had the way to say it all If I had the hands of Angelo From a block of stone You would take a place In every empty home Wish I knew the way To do it all If I had to climb The highest mountain Just to find you I'd be there Every day I wake Just to be with you again That's your
goes beyond um, song number four, Wish, and once again, out they scurry about their business. And if you look very closely, you'll be able to see the BBC piano there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, just being rolled off. Well, it's got to be used again. Now, song number five is Making Your Mind Up, it's called, and it's written by Andy Hill and John Dante, who, incidentally, have also collaborated on the song after this one. Now, this particular song will be performed by Box Fizz, and I'll enumerate them for you. That's Jay Aston, Cheryl Baker, Bobby G, and Michael Nolan. Song five, Making Your Mind Up. That's Box Fizz with Making Your Mind Up. Well, there's three more songs to go before I fling myself into the hurly-burly of the voting procedure with our seven national and regional juries. Might be of interest to know that, uh, well, obviously you know that the winning song here goes on to the Eurovision to represent the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom has won the Eurovision on three occasions. Last time in 1976 with Save Your Kisses for Me and the Brotherhood of Man. Uh, Prima Donna won this contest last year and they went on to be third in the Eurovision. This all may seem inconsequential information to you, but it does fill up the time. <laughs> Song six is written by the aforementioned Andy Hill and John Danter. This one with the help of Pete Sinfield. The group are going to sing it, are Jem, and they're six in number. So it's song six with six, and have you ever been in love? In the morning light, have a way have you ever laid there thinking, was it all a dream? But you reach out and she's there, every moment, everywhere. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever Just to 
There by Jem, and have you ever been in love? Now, song seven, Where Are You Now, is written words and music by a young lady called Lindsay Moore. And Lindsay has chosen 21 year old Leslie Carling uh, to sing the song. Now, Leslie was actually born here in Shepherd's Bush. Huh? Not many people would admit to that. And she's supported here, as many of the performers, by a backing group uh, whom you can't see, mercifully. They're out of shot, but they do lend vital assistance. So it's song seven, Where Are You Now?
seven, Leslie Carling and Where Are You Now? And now to our final song, uh, number eight, called Don't Panic, which could well be the watchword of this show. And it'll be sung by Liquid Gold. Now the words and music are by Adrian Baker, and Liquid Gold comprise Wally on the drums, Tom on the piano, Ray on the BBC bass, Sid on the guitar, and sweetly vocalizing Elaine Hope. So it's the final song in this year's Song for Europe contest, 1981, to see just who is going to represent the United Kingdom at this year's Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin at the beginning of April. The final song, number eight, Don't Panic. Gold and the final song, so you've heard them all, all eight, in this year's Song for Europe, 1981. Well, I wonder if your decision at home can be reconciled with those of the seven national and regional juries that will very shortly be joining, as soon as the old scoreboard is ready. Now, we'll be joining them in, in just a moment. Let me give you a quick rundown on the scoring system. Yeah, each jury has 11 good men and women true and uh, each jury member can award one to five points as a maximum and they must vote on each song and as I've said before they must vote as soon as they've heard the particular song. Uh, the jury foreman will be adding up the votes and they'll give 15 to the song with the most votes, 12 to the second most popular, 10, 9, 8, 7, but you can probably work it out for yourself after that. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can talk. We've got, as I've said, three national juries, 
We have um, the Scots jury in Edinburgh, the Welsh in Cardiff, and Northern Ireland uh, in Belfast, and then we're going to Manchester and Birmingham, London and Bristol. So I'm, I'm hoping to be able to talk to my friend in Cardiff, who's the chairman of the Welsh jury. There he is, smiling manfully. No star, you and Thomas. No sir, there are terriers in my bed there. Yes, indeed. I've got one or two inconsequential. <laughs> One or two inconsequential questions to ask you. I know you like that sort of stuff. Oh, go on. Well, several people saw you playing with Fuzzy Zella in the golf the other day. Yes, I helped him a great deal. He was, wasn't having a good day. Well, sir, I'm told. Well, now, the BBC Golf Society is a meeting down here in Wales in the spring, and I've been told to ask you to attend not so much as a celebrity, but more as um, a pro. Just for the, the pureness of my golf, is it? That's you right. Are, that's a rotten thing to do, to stick me up on the wall here and force me to go down to that golf now. I suppose there's no fee. Uh, no, but you... <laughs> Start no fee, you would. Uh, SNF, but we sh we'll look after you. <laughs> you and I'll come back to you in just a moment yes. for the votes of the Welsh jury. And thank you very much for the invitation. I appreciate that. All right. All right, Northern Ireland and Belfast. And we'll call up Peter Dixon there. Hello, Peter. All right, then ignore me. <laughs> Hello, Terry. How are you? Are you looking fresh-faced? Oh, thanks. Yes, and yourself? Yes. What's the weather like in Northern Ireland? It's like two-way family favourites, this. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I suppose, it's much the same in London. It's pretty drizzly and pretty dreary over here today, but uh, we're hoping for better things next week. Jolly good. Well, have you had a difficult time keeping your jurors in line? Have they had a great deal of difference of opinion? Well, not really. No, they've all been remarkably well behaved. Um, I must say, I'm very glad I, di I didn't have a personal vote to cast tonight no. because it's, it's been an extremely difficult task. Uh, all the songs have been in such a high standard that, uh, as on all good sporting occasions like this, uh, you know, may the best man win. I'm sure he will. I like to talk to a man with a sense of humour. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> now, we'll, we'll go to Scotland now in Edinburgh at Jim O'Hara. Hello, Jim. Come on, home, Jim, Tilly. You, you've dressed for the occasion. Well, I thought I might as well try and live up to the image. Uh, I think it, it makes a change. Yes, I thought it was disgraceful they wouldn't let us get into dinner jackets. Something about trying to run the thing down. I don't I don't understand it myself. I wanted to wear a T-shirt this afternoon, but they refused to, uh, to let me do that. Well, so we don't know whether you've got any trousers on, of course. You know. <laughs> I'm told that by one of the camera shots, you might just about make it, so I had to go out and buy a pair this afternoon. Ah, oh, that must have struck hard with a Scotsman. Jim, well, well I, I, would have, I would have got a kilt, but I couldn't find an O'Hara tartan, you see. That was a yeah. problem. You might give us a twirl of your spar a little later on. All right. We'll do it. Thank you, Jim. We'll call up later on to the Scots jury and all the juries. We'll call London now. There's somebody called um, Marston Moore or Old Moore there. I don't recognize him in that crowd. Are you there, Mother? Would you like a twirl of my sparring? <laughs> no, well, no. I've seen your sparring and it's, uh, it's not for family viewing. <laughs> Little thing like that shouldn't worry you. <laughs> Uh, mind you, I normally, when, when I'm working with you in Radio 2, only get a view of the back of your head. And really, I think that's the one I prefer now that I see you. <laughs> on a good day, it's probably better on balance, Terry, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. But you're well not, dressed well. You're nodding very sage. You're a veteran of this, Ray. I, I do you think this has been... I know you haven't got a vote, but do you think it's a, a difficult one, this? Well, being a veteran, I've aged considerably in the last 40 minutes, Terry. Uh, and because it shows. We're, we're lumbered with a jury of Adam and the Ants fans here tonight. <laughs> yes, I thought there was a marked decline in the punk element this year. Not a lot of it about, no. I noticed that. <laughs> You haven't the smallest idea what I'm talking about, have you? Well, that's par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> you talked to me about par for the course after that 32-yard putt last Sunday, for goodness sake. Ray, I'm going to leave you now because I'm bored stiff with you. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to move to somewhere else now. And um, somewhere in the region. Birmingham, I think, is ready for us. So I'll call up Birmingham and our gentleman in Birmingham is David Stevens. Hello, David. Yes, you're ready for our votes now, are you? I am so, David. Okay, then, right you are, then. We've been working hard here, our jury here. Hardly a smile, but my word, they've been listening and enjoying themselves. We've got musicians, we've got police cadets, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got a doctor and a dentist, so we're well looked after anyway. Would you mind looking at me when you're talking to me? <laughs> Yes, but the jury is nicer than you are, you see. But still. That's true. <laughs> You'd ahead, like then. the votes from us? Yes, please. Okay, then, from Birmingham. Not without your ticket, the first song. That got seven points. 
Seven points for number one. Yeah. Okay, and then on to Gary Benson's All Cried Out. That got 12 points. 12 to number two. Apart from All Cried Out. And then only for a day with the appealing children, five points for that. Five points to number three. Yeah. And Wish, the, the tuxedos cat of the day for Birmingham, 15 points for that. That's full marks. That's the top mark to okay. number four. Then Making Your Mind Up, 10 points. 10 to number five. Yeah. Have you ever been in love? Don't answer that. Eight points. Eight points to number six. And Where Are You Now, number seven song there, that got six points. Six to number seven. Yeah, and finally the Beatty Don't Panic, nine points. And that's mm. the way we saw it at Pebble Mill. Thank you very much, David. Excellent. That's the first set of marks. First set of marks, you can readily see that uh, Beyond, song number four with Wisher in the lead of 15, in second place, song number two. It's very early yet, of course, to, to see how the trends are going. And uh, after that, then, in third place, Box Fizz, song number five, with ten points. That was the votes from Birmingham. And now we're ready to go to Bristol. Uh, no, let's... I tell you, I have a better idea. We won't go to Bristol. <laughs> we'll go to the Welsh jury in Cardiff. You always uh, vote well, don't you, Terry? <laughs> you, and it's up to you. <laughs> the first song, Not Without Your Ticket, five votes. Five to number one. The second, all cried out, eight votes. Eight to number two. For only a day, six votes. Six votes to unity. Number four, wish, gets nine. That's nine votes to number four in the lead. Making your mind up. We like the girls in red and yellow, and we've given them 15 votes. That's four marks to number five, box fizz. Have you ever been in love, gets ten. That's 10 to number 6, or 810, as we have here. <laughs> we, have, we have a little bit of a hiccup there, Ewan, because... Um, the Irish it, can't count, is that it? No, you see, just because I'm doing the cabaret and presenting the prizes doesn't mean I'm working the scoreboard as well. You know? <laughs> so we're looking for 15 points for song number 5 to make it 25, isn't that so? It's my early training in the home for the bewildered that would enable me to, to top that up. I've got two more votes Ah, to give there you. you go. Good heavens. Are you in order now? I, I, it, will you stop blaming me for this? <laughs> Song number six, please. Can you give us the votes for six? I've given them once, but I'll give them again. <laughs> Have you ever been in love ten votes? <laughs> I stand here and take dog's abuse. <laughs> Song number seven, go ahead then, Ewan. Where are you now? Twelve. I wish I knew. <laughs> and good advice here, don't panic, get seven. Seven votes. Thank you very much, Ewan. Thank the Welsh jury for me. Thank you, Terry. And that's song number five in the lead. Suddenly taking the lead with 25 in second place, Wish, song number four with 24. And then in third place, number two, all cried out, Gary Benson. We'll go to Manchester. I think Manchester are ready for us. And John Mundy there. Hello, John. Hi there, Terry. Thank you for joining us. Our Thank greetings to the Manchester jury. Can you give us the marks, please? Yes, indeed. Thank you. Song number one, Not Without Your Ticket, ten points. Ten to song number one. Song number two, all cried out, eight points. Eight to number two. Number three, for only a day, five points. That's five to song number three. Number four, wish, six. Six to song number four. Number five, we made our minds up to give that top marks 15. Whoa. Song number five, right, 15 points, full marks. Number six, have you ever been in love, seven. Votes. Seven to number six. Number seven, where are you now, nine votes. Nine votes, neuf points to number seven. <laughs> Our number eight, uh, don't panic, 12. <laughs> 12 points. Thank you very much, John Mundy. Okay. Thank you. Nice to have you join us. It's uh, 40 marks then, and in the lead, Box Fizz, and uh, fairly commandingly, 10 points ahead of song number four, that's Wish, and we're ready to call up another uh, jury this time. We're not quite sure where we're going to this time. Belfast, Belfast. Jerry. Belfast. Hello. Oh, thank you. Very nice of you to come in there. I was looking a little sick for a moment, Peter Dixon. I thought I'd give you a hand down, Terry. Ah, you're very kind. Go ahead. Right, well, uh, voting from uh, Belfast is uh, the first song, Not Without Your Ticket, ten votes. That's ten votes to number one from Northern Ireland. Song number two, All Cried Out, eight votes. 
eight to number two. Song number three, for only a day, six votes. Six to unity. Song number four, wish, nine votes. Nine votes to song number four. Song number five, Making Your Mind Up, we like that one too, we gave 15 votes. That's another four marks for Making Your Mind Up from Box Fizz. Song number six, Have You Ever Been In Love, 12 votes. 12 to song number six. Song number seven, Where Are You Now, seven votes. Seven to seven. And finally, the last song, song number eight, Don't Panic, we gave that five votes. Five votes to song number eight. Thank you very much for your voting, uh, Northern Ireland. And that means that in the lead, as you can see lighting up, song number five in a very commanding lead, 55, next best uh, with 39, is song number four. And we're still waiting another region to move to. It's Edinburgh this time, the Scots jury there, so I'll call up. A man whose name is as familiar to me as it is to you. Jim O'Hara. Jim O'Hara. Hello, you? Jim. Hello again, Terry. <laughs> that's, yes. a very, that's a very rough It's a very crowd, Scottish yeah. name as well, you see. Yes, of course. The, uh, <laughs> the votes from the Scottish jury at Edinburgh, who were uh, selected, most of them anyway, after a quiz on Radio Scotland, is as follows. Uh, for number one, not without your ticket, six points. Six to number one. For uh, number two, all cried out, eight points. Eight to number two. Number three, for only a day, five points it's five to number three number four wish 12 points 12 to number four for number five making your mind up guess what we gave it 15. Uh, another, set of, another set of four marks song number six seven points seven to six song number seven nine points that's where are you now leslie carling nine points and song number eight, Don't Panic, ten points. Ten and those points. those are the votes of the Scottish jury here. Thank you very much, Jim O'Hara. Thank you for joining us in Scotland. Uh, both our remaining juries are ready, so I'll go, through no choice of my own, to Ray Moore in London for the marks of the London jury. Ray? Okay, Terry, it's interesting, actually. We had four songs tying at one point, but this is the result. Song number one, we gave them five points. Five to number one. Song number two, ten points. Ten to number two. For only a day, number three, we gave that six points. Six points to song number three. Song number four, that got eight points. Eight points to song number four. Quite a surprise here, Terry. Bucks Fizz got 15 points. You don't tell me. <laughs> they seem quite pleased. Yes. <laughs> Could we have a bit more enthusiasm, please, in, in your work? Song number six, that got nine points. <laughs> Oh, go on, go on. Song number seven, that got seven points. Seven to seven. And song number eight, we gave that 12 points. 12 points to song number eight. Thank you, Ray Moore and the London jury. Though heaven alone knows for what. All right, I'll recap on the scores. That's Box Fizz, song number five, making it pretty much a one-horse race at the moment, making your mind up 85 points. Uh, I'm going to stick up my neck out here now and say I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to make them Morgan's winner. I, I'm not, I don't think they can be caught with 85. And in second place with 55, Liquid Gold, Don't Panic. In third place with 54, song number two, Gary Benson, All Cried Out. And then Jem with song number six and 53. And then Leslie Carling, song seven and 50. All right, we're ready to go to our final jury and our final jury chairman. We haven't met him uh, this evening, but I'm delighted to make the acquaintance of Andy Batten Foster. Hello, Andy. Well, it's nice to join you, Terry. It is indeed. It would be nice to think as well that we could still make some difference, actually. But here, anyway, are the Bristol votes. Song number one, not without your ticket. Well, that got seven votes. Seven votes to number one. Song number two, all cried out. Nine votes. Nine to number two. Song number three, for only a day, five votes. Five to number three. Song number four, Wish, that got eight votes. Eight to number four. Song number five, Making Your Mind Up, 12 points. 12 points to number five. Song number six, Have You Ever Been In Love, 10 points. 10 to number six. Song number seven, Where Are You Now, six votes. Six votes to number seven. And finally, Don't Panic, song number eight, 15 points. 15 points to number eight. Thank and you, Andy Batten Bates. Foster. Thank you, the Bristol jury. Our thanks to our seven national and regional juries for their contribution. Thank you very much. And um, 
as I said, it became after about uh, three or four juries a rather one horse race. In second place was Liquid Gold, song number eight, Don't Panic, 70 points. Well there too was Beyond and Wish, song number four with 67, so too song six, Have You Ever Been In Love with 63, and number two, All Cried Out, 63, but the winning song, the song that's going to go on to represent the United Kingdom at the Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin very shortly is song number five, Box Fizz, with 97 points, making your mind up. So our congratulations to them and I'll be presenting them with their award in just a moment. But the winning songwriters, because it's terribly important for them, are two gentlemen called Andy Hill and John Danter. And John Danter's going to receive the award. John. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is it, John. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Danter, our congratulations, as oh, you can see, lovely, it's a, it? a chased gold. It's real, is it? Uh, well, you could bite it and see if you'd like. <laughs> no. my tea. Our congratulations. Um, Thank you very much. You, you, you and, and Andy are a pretty well settled songwriting team. You've worked together for a while. Yes. Yeah. Have you had any big successes up to now? This is it. Is it? <laughs> Possibly. Well, if you go on to win the Eurovision, of course, it'll be an even bigger success. Yes, hopefully, yes. Congratulate again. Thank you very much. You and Andy. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done. well done, Andy Hill, John Danter. The winning song, of course, was sung by Box Fizz, and they're two young ladies and two young gentlemen, and to represent them is Michael Nolan from Box Fizz. It's very heartening, Michael, that, uh, that it's been won by a Nolan brother. I'm the elder sister. You're the elder sister, are you? <laughs> Michael, tell us a little bit uh, about Box Fizz. I mean, have you formed just for this yeah, song weeks. contest? Six yeah, weeks. Six weeks. And how much rehearsal has gone into it? Every day. Every, Every day. single day. Except Sundays, because we go to church. <laughs> This is going to mean a great deal in the Eurovision in Dublin, I can tell you. <laughs> of course, well, Michael is from Dublin. Ah, thank heaven for that, for goodness <laughs> sake. Well, the sisters, as I said, will be very proud of you. And so will everybody in Dublin, but our congratulations to Box Fizz, and we hope that you'll go on to carry off the Eurovision Song Contest again for the United Kingdom. I'll hold on to the prize, congratulate you again, please. and let's hear the winning song again, please. Well, are you now?
Thank you. 